Hi everyone, I'm Julia, a program manager working in the Microsoft Azure API Center team. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of APIs, focusing on Azure API Center and how it can help with your API governance. Let's start at the beginning. What exactly do we mean with API governance? It's a term that gets thrown around a lot, but isn't always clear. API governance is the practice of defining and applying standards, policies, and processes. It ensures that your APIs are consistent, standardized, usable, and secure across your organization. It's like having traffic rules. Everyone follows them and the roads stay safe and efficient. API governance is a critical aspect of managing your APIs across your organizations. And this is where Azure API Center can help you achieve your goals. With API analysis and API Center, you can ensure your APIs follow your organization's guidelines and best practices, making them consistently secure and compliant. But let's take a deeper look into the feature itself and let me quickly show you how API analysis works in API Center. As a step one, in our API Center Analyzer GitHub repository, we've provided you a template to an Azure Function app that runs Spectral as our linting engine. Moving on to step two, you can configure an event subscription in your API Center, and this will trigger the Function app ensuring real-time analysis and feedback. So now every time you add or replace an API definition in your API Center, an event is triggered automatically. On receiving the event, the linting engine checks that the APIs defined in the definition conform to your organizational API style guides and generates a report. The report can then be viewed and accessed in API Center. But yeah, let's take a look at the demo itself. We will start in our API Center Analyzer GitHub repository. You can easily fork this repository, using it for your own purposes and modifying it for your own requirements. Because we are using Spectral as our linting engine, we support custom rule sets and also custom functions. Currently, our template comes with the default Spectral rule set saved in a YAML file. The file can be found in our resources rule set folder. And in my demo, I will disable the default rule set and provide two very simple custom rules. All right, so next we will deploy the Azure function to a pre-created function app. So I will use the Azure function extension in Visual Studio Code, but you can of course also do this however you want. As soon as our function app was deployed, you should be able to confirm by checking out the resource. Make sure that your function app is running and it's enabled. Next, we have to make sure that your function app has turned on system assigned managed identity because we have to grant our API center access to this resource for our event subscription. This is what we will do in our next step. So I will add a new role assignment to my API center. Under privileged administrator roles, I will select the contributor role. This role will now get assigned to my system assigned managed identity of my Azure function app. All right, so after the role assignment was successful, we will now enable events in our API center. For this, we will select Azure functions in the getting started tab. The important configuration step here is the selection of the event types. Make sure to select API definition added and updated. After that, we only have to configure our Azure function endpoint which in our case is the Azure Function app I previously deployed with my linting engine. Make sure you can see your event subscription successfully enabled after the configuration steps. All right, now we are good to go. I went ahead and registered a new API, but I haven't uploaded an API spec yet. So let me pick and choose a new open API spec and upload it in my API center. As soon as I upload the spec, you will find an analysis action item in your API detail page. This displays the API definition and arrows and warnings and information based on my configured API style guide. As expected, I can see one arrow and one warning message in here.
So now every time I'm adding a new API definition or I'm replacing one, this will trigger my function app and run my linting engine. That's all for today's video on Azure API Center and API governance. I can't wait to see what you will do and how you will use the feature in API Center. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me directly.